Hey everybody, Adrian Nelson here, and I just want to speak a little bit about um, this whole Palestinian-Israeli war that's going on. Now, I, I want you to know right from the start that I'm not choosing any sides here. I live in Cape Town. Cape Town is a beautiful, multi-diverse place. We've got lots of Muslim people living in Cape Town. We've got lots of Jewish people living in Cape Town. And um, I think that the situation that is happening at the moment, it is horrific. It is, it, it is horrific. It is, I have been for the last couple of weeks, I've had difficulty sleeping, I've had difficulty concentrating, I've had difficulty just coping through my days because of all of these things that are going on, because it is harrowing, it is horrifying the you know the the deaths and just the just the blatant disrespect for human life just the fact that we've been blinded to the fact that you know that we we have become a, we, we i don't really think we've become we've we started to portray really how primitive we are as a race as a human race you know, we are humans fighting against humans. We are humans hunting humans. Humans murdering humans. You know, you can put the wildest dogs together in a pen or something like that. And initially, eventually they're going to start, you know, finding a way to, you know, to sort of like coexist together. Whereas we as human beings are supposedly... Um, you know, um, developed race. We are humans, and I really want to hear me on this. We are humans hunting humans. We are humans killing humans, you know. And what is scary to me, what is so scary to me is I just took my dog out for a walk and there's a lot of cars that are parked outside where there's going to be a march, you know, to free Palestine, which I am 100% for. I'm 100% for the wellness of all human beings. I don't feel that this situation, this escalation is happening thousands of kilometers away from me. It's got nothing to do with me. That is definitely not, that is a direct opposite of how I feel. But what scares me is some of the things that I started to hear more and more. You know, where as human beings, and this is what I really want to speak to your hearts about. I want you to know I'm not speaking to Muslims, I'm not speaking to Jews, I'm not speaking, I am speaking to human beings. I'm a human being speaking to human beings. And I want to bring your attention to the fact that hatred is spreading and it's spreading fast and it's spreading globally, where neighbors are beginning to be turned against neighbors, you know. People and friends are beginning to turn against friends. I don't want any of this oppression, you know, of people to break out because I've got amazing Muslim friends. I've got amazing Jewish friends. And these are really incredible people. But it's like the, 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 I can almost say that the hype of what's happening at the moment, it's spreading and it's spreading like a wildfire. And I think what many of us are failing to see at the moment is that this is driving towards a very perilous outcome. This is how wars start and how wars expand. All right. I want you, I, I want to bring your attention back and I want to bring you back to the reminder and the awareness that there are always political agendas and powers that be behind things and behind, you know, outbreaks that are fueling disharmony and that are encouraging fear in order to get other humans to do their dirty work. Let's not fall for the tr these tricks, you know. Yes, be passionate about freeing those who are suffering. I mean, it's, it's horrific what is going on. It is horrific what is going on. But simultaneously, I want you to please, 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 please in your heart be aware that, or, or to rather be mindful that we don't fight so much for the freedom of others, that we become enemies with our neighbors, with the people that are close to us, the people that live with us, the people that are our, our brothers and our sisters, our neighbors, our fellow, fellow countrymen and women, you know. It, it, it really, you know, it's, it's, I'm in the process of doing some other work and I just, 
I, I don't find myself capable of doing anything else at the moment because it's just horrific. You know, I heard some children speak, and I won't repeat the things that they said, but, you know, I was thinking to myself, these children have no idea what they are speaking about. This whole situation, it's so much bigger than it's then the once of incident you know it's made out to be this once of incident you know where there are definitive victims and definitive perpetrators but it's so much bigger than that and what is scary is that you know um you look on social media there are people that are spewing their opinions and their points of view which everybody's got a right to do because i mean technically speaking that's what i'm doing as well at the moment but there are people that are spewing their their points of view and and you know their opinions but they are doing it in such hurtful ways they are doing it from a point of you know misconception not having all the information not understanding everybody or everything that for hundreds if not thousands of years have led up to this situation I'm going to say there's no guilty or innocent party in all of this, but what is unfair is how the situation itself is being portrayed. I want to remind you that social media is a powerful medium to control people through. And before you go and fight for anything or stand up for anything, make sure that you've got all the facts. Make sure that you understand what's actually going on. Because there is a vast misconception about who the right ones and who the wrong ones are here at the moment. And through all of that, innocent people continue to suffer. Children continue to be killed. You know, um, people are held in the most horrific sort of circumstances. And don't feel that because it's happening over there, there's got nothing to do with us. I mean, didn't we learn anything from COVID? that we felt like, well, it's a problem that's over here, over there, and we don't have to worry about it until it came to our home fronts and our home borders, you know? So let's have some compassion in the heart, and let's not be too quick to fight and too quick to be opposed to anything or anyone. Now, more than ever, is a time that you are having the invitation to stand up, to really, truly stand up for love to really, truly, and honestly stand up for what is right. And in my opinion, the way that I said what is right is that humans support humans. You know, um, fighting uh, against fighting, that sort of thing, an eye for an eye, it really benefits nobody. This is an invitation for us at the moment to all come together and stand together, united as one one human race standing for humanity and i want to say that if you are saying that you are standing for peace or you are fighting for peace stand for actual peace and peace means that nobody gets this advantage as long as we still want to get revenge as long as we still want to get even as long as we still want to um you know get them to 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 to, to sort of like um you know pay for their crimes. That isn't love. That isn't forgiveness. That is hate versus hate, which just leads to more hate, which just leads to more pain. As human beings, we have been fighting each other since the beginning of time. And it has never gotten us anywhere. You know, it has never gotten us anywhere. Wanting to get even, wanting to get revenge, wanting to fight wars, it has never resolved anything it has never had a peaceful outcome never never all right this is a time to embrace peace this is a time to embrace peace this is a time to embrace our neighbors even if the rest of our family don't even if the rest of our friends don't what are you going to do are you going to just follow um the masses the same as everybody else if everybody hates, are you also going to hate? What are you going to do? This is a time for you to follow your own mind, to not follow what you are being told to do, but to search your own heart and ask your own heart, what is right for me? What is the right way for me to follow? What is peace for me? What is love for me? What is compassion to me? What is kindness to me? In fighting... And, 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 and opposing each other, that is the direct opposite of what I think many of us are trying to achieve. One love, my people.